Hello everyone, we are Jamie and Aidan and behind us you can see one of the most famous things in all of Rome. That is exactly where we are, that is where we are going to film 48 hours exploring this amazing capital, this city that neither of us have been to before. We are more than excited. To start with, we're going to take you back to yesterday and show you what we did and we will meet you here in a minute. We've made it to our first stop here in Rome now. We are outside of the Pantheon. And we are very, very, very excited <laughs> and we can't wait to go inside, so we're going to do it now. everything for today now we got here it was around about half four five in the evening so we didn't have much time to do everything but i think we made the most of it definitely yes so we ticked off for ourselves the pantheon and the Pasta. trevi fountain <laughs> we have different priorities <laughs> yours is food and mine is landmarks so tomorrow we will have a much busier day hopefully it's not raining we're having a look at the forecast it doesn't look great but we will of course make the most of it so we will see you for an early night and see you in the morning bye We've got our tickets ready, we're just about to head inside. It was 19 euros each, we've booked a really early slot, but already it's getting busy. We're gonna walk around, I'm really excited for this one. This is definitely something that I've wanted to do for a long time, so let's get going. The views from the outside so far are amazing, and I can't wait to get inside. Here we are, walking around the Roman Colosseum. This is probably the most famous kind of thing, <laughs> tourist attraction that we've ever been to, but this is definitely one that I will remember. For a long time. Ever since I studied the Romans back when I was like six or seven years old, we have known about this place. And now actually being here, kind of seeing what we know in our heads and seeing it in real life is a very big pinch me moment. Well, this place is pretty famous, but if you don't know about it already, this is where the gladiators used to fight. Are you not entertained? They used to fight each other, they used to fight animals, they used to reenact battles. <laughs> They put water over it at some yeah. point, didn't they? And they had like boats, but it's absolutely massive. And you, all of these places here are the seats. So you would look down and watch the entertainment. But it's also quite a sad place if you think about it. Many people hundreds, died. thousands of people died. <laughs> yep. But this is amazing. This is one of the archeological sites of the world that you have to come and see. So we are very, very happy to be here. Not sure if the camera is picking up how big this place actually is. Throughout history, between 50 and 80,000 people can fit inside of this place. And also, this place is extremely old. It took eight years to build, and construction started in 72 AD and was finished in 80 AD. Also included in your ticket for the Colosseum, you have entrance to the Palatine Hill and the Roman Forum. Do not skip this if you want to see more ancient Roman archaeology. So 
So up here on Palatine Hill is a lot of ancient ruins. There was an imperial palace, there were gardens, mm. and it overlooks everything at the bottom of the hill. It's kind of hard to picture what it would have been like versus what you're seeing. So I think definitely we made a bit of a mistake not getting a guide. Yeah. We've seen quite a lot of scam guides hanging around trying to sell tickets outside for an inflated price, so... And offering tours and stuff from the inside, yeah. but they're not the official ones, and we would... We don't recommend going with those. If you do want to do a tour, which I think maybe we should have, then it definitely go through a proper website. We know that Get Your Guide is very reliable. Tours from them are really interesting, a lot of fun, and a lot cheaper than the ones, like, here in the Colosseum. So if you do want to do a tour when you're here, use Get Your Guide, we'll link it now. We're currently looking down here on the Roman Forum. Which is an area full of ancient government buildings and I believe the rich lived here as well. There's also gardens that we were just up at and they were beautiful. But all of this is just an amazing, amazing view. Everything is very kind of like, you can't really tell what it was unfortunately. <laughs> but all just ancient ruins, beautiful views of the city this way. We've got the Colosseum behind us. And yeah, just walking around, we keep eavesdropping on everyone's tours so that we can hear a little bit and Googling as we go. But otherwise, this is great. <laughs> I wonder how often these ruins fall down. Oh, that's good. <laughs> when was the last time any of them fell? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So the next stop on our quick tour of Rome is just down the road from the Colosseum. We are at the Circus Maximus, which back in the day was famous for chariot racing. You can kind of see the track, the light colour going around there, but yeah. And it's free to enter, you can just walk in. The chariots were just horse-drawn carts racing around the track. Would have been entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have some lunch. Tito croquette. <laughs> oh, yes. It's nice. Very cold though. Aww. <laughs> it's nice though. Pizza. <laughs> Delicious. So here in Rome you won't really find the triangular pizza slices. Instead you usually get like a rectangular one. It's from a big, big rectangle. They cut off a bit and then it's done by weight. So overall we got four slices of pizza and the little potato croquette and it was eight euros? very very cheap so this is our lunch for today we're gonna to eat on the go because we have so much more to do so of course lunch was absolutely lovely the pizzas here in Rome are slightly different to the pizzas in the rest of the country the base is a lot thinner and more crispy mm. but I think I actually prefer that I do as well they're a bit like lighter I like it so we are walking to do our next thing now <laughs> we have already fit in so much it's about midday but we have done enough for like three days so far um, so we are just walking to our next attraction. Uh, so far the walking around is my favourite part. Yeah. All of the buildings, there's just old architecture, really cool like pieces of history. So the city has a lot going for it, I like it. The weather has taken a little <laughs> turn for the worse. So we're underneath a tree. <laughs> We are just about to enter here, these walls which protect the Vatican City. Now that's not technically in Rome because it's a different country. Let's not get caught in the rain and go in. An old way to decide to of Rome. Now it has just started raining but that has not deterred anyone from visiting. We are going to pick up our tickets that we pre-ordered online which we will talk about later when we have a bit more time and we're not in the rain. 
<laughs> nice style. <laughs> At least I won't lose Aiden in his bright red jacket. <laughs> I believe we're in a different country <laughs> it was like no welcome you're in a different country now it was like for a quick security thing yeah like being in the airport but and then in no one checked our passports but it said online to bring our passports so who knows maybe we might do some further checks but right now we're just following signs to the museum Let's go. so far it looks like a normal reception well let's see <laughs> here I don't think I can actually take it all in there's far too much for you mm. to like actually look at something understand what it is learn about it and then do that with the next thing you'd be here hours but that's not a bad thing this place is absolutely amazing I've mm. never seen so much of stuff <laughs> very 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 impressive I'm just going down the stairs now and going into the Sistine Chapel We're finished with the Sistine Chapel now, and we're finished with some of the museums, but we are a bit lost. We want to get over here, but we don't know how to get there because everywhere is closed, and none of the signs are pointing out how to get to the Basilica, so... We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. And hello. So you can tell by <laughs> the light that it is now the morning. Now we have a really terrible story to tell you about yesterday. So the last clip that we took, we said that we were lost. We were very lost. We were very lost. <laughs> we couldn't see any signs other than the exit. We, assumed... we were trying to get to here, where yeah, we are right, right now. Right where we are now. <laughs> we assumed that the exit was just to leave the Sistine Chapel, but we actually left the Vatican City. Which we thought <laughs> is fine, then we'll just come back in on a different entrance that's closer to this. But it had gone, it was literally like five minutes too late and they'd done their last entry. So we drowned our stories in pasta and cooled off yesterday and just kind of walked around and explored Rome. But we didn't really want to film because we'd, <laughs> we'd ruined our trip to the Vatican. But we came back this morning, so it's not all a fail and we have a lovely blue sky. It's not raining, so it's almost nicer that we came back. So we are currently stood in St. Peter's Square and you can see the Basilica behind us. You can actually go inside for free, but we do not have time for that as we are getting on a flight and we are leaving <laughs> Italy. We're disappointed that we couldn't go into the Basilica yesterday. We failed very hard. <laughs> but at least we saw it today. So we have no time left here in this amazing country. We have been here for just over a month. First we started in the south and then two days in Rome. If you would like to see anything of what we do, then make sure to check out our other videos and subscribe.
Thanks for watching our 48 hours here in Rome. We hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time from a new country. Bye. Bye.